Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio here with a quick video to answer a question I've been getting from a lot of students in the comments on my other Zoom tutorials. Can my teachers see what I'm doing in Zoom? For example, can they see who I have pinned or can they tell if I'm browsing the web instead of paying attention to the Zoom window? And while the obvious answer might be that, well, you should just be paying attention to class and then you don't have to worry about it, I understand that some students and families might have legitimate privacy concerns about their teacher's access to other information on their computer, so I wanted to address the question. So the short answer is that no, your teacher can't see what you're doing through Zoom, but that does not guarantee that they can't see what you're doing through other software that might be installed on the computer. This is especially true if the computer was given to you by the school. So, for example, no, your teacher can't tell who you have pinned in Zoom, although, again, you should probably be paying attention to the teacher. They also can't tell if you have Zoom minimized and you're browsing the web. The one thing you have to be careful about there is if you ever have to share your screen, for example, if you're giving a presentation, when you click the Share Screen button, it's going to show little previews of every program you have open on your computer. So if you have a video game or the internet open, they will be able to see a tiny preview of that here. Zoom did used to have an attention tracking feature built in that would notify the host if Zoom was not the active window on your computer. However, after privacy backlash earlier this year, they removed that feature as you can see in this announcement on their website. Now again, just because your teacher can't see what you're doing through Zoom does not mean that they can't see what you're doing through other software, especially if the computer was given to you by the school or if the school required you to install something on your home computer. Organizations like the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the ACLU have objected to this. For example, see this note from the Electronic Frontier Foundation that found that schools issued devices to students without their parents' consent and knowledge. Parents were kept in the dark about what apps their kids were required to use and what data was being collected. Here is an article from the ACLU in Rhode Island that says that the majority of school districts give officials the power to access the contents, microphone, and camera of the student's computer at any time. If you are a student and you are concerned about this, you should discuss it with your parents, and they may want to discuss it with your teacher or your school administrators. Again, while ideally you should be paying attention to class and not have other things open anyway, you should confirm what the privacy settings on your computer are and if there's any software other than Zoom that can monitor what you're doing. So I hope you found this quick video helpful. I have a link to a playlist with a lot of other Zoom tutorials in the description below this video. If you have a question, a comment, or a suggestion for another tutorial, please leave a comment below the video. Thank you.